What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my Pokemon Red Walkthrough Part 41. In the last episode we just um, travelled to Cinnabar Island by the back of our Pokemon. So in, the in this episode we're, um, we're after the uh, secret key to open uh, Blaine's gym up. So what we need to do here is to actually uh, find the key obviously and um, well, we explore this place as well. Uh, so, what have we got here? We've got a little bit of an item here. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, let me get rid of something else so I can get rid of it. I'll just get rid of that X accuracy. Uh, but as I was saying before, we need to get the secret key to open up the gym so we can get our, our well, that would be our seventh gym badge then. Okay, so um, it's a little bit locked there. So, there's a couple of Pokemon you can catch in this um, this area. Uh, you can catch Ponytars in here, and they're quite high level as well. So, they're not low level Pokemon. So like don't underestimate them because <laughs> you'll probably end up dying uh, so I'm trying to run away from this ponytail will let me go in a sec my god okay so um, let me just see I'll switch up my Pokemon here to uh, put my Nidoking at the start because um, uh, that'll be best okay anyway so we'll go down here just a couple random encounters there I'm just gonna blot them out so you don't have to put up with them uh, nothing really down here so what we need to do this is actually blocked off by those little doors so what you'll need to do is you will need to go to those little switches and turn them on if, to open up the little uh, the little um, door thingies okay so walking over here do, 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 do. there's a little switch thing here you can press that a secret switch press it who wouldn't so that changes the little door thingies um, Sorry about that, just having a few random wild encounters all in a row there. So another Pokemon you can catch in this is um, Growlithe, uh, level 34. So it, as I said, they're quite high levels as well. Um, as I've got a full team, I don't need any more Pokemon. Uh, just showing you a couple of the Pokemon you catch in this um, this area. Anyway, so I'm going to go up these steps here. Um, I'm going to battle... I think this guy's a trainer. Oh, no, he's not. I can't get out. This place is like one big puzzle. Okay, I think these guys are burglars. Yeah, they are. Um, so burglar wants to battle. He's got a Charmander, uh, level 34. So this should be easy pickings for my Nidoking because he has he's got Rock Slide and Earthquake. So I'll just go for Rock Slide. That'll that'll do the job. Um, bang the Charmander, and he should go down to that quite easily. Okay, right. So 472 experience. His last Pokemon is Charmeleon. Um, so it'd be cool if he had a Charizard, but that's all good as well. Um, I don't mind Charmeleon, but actually, it's not too bad. Okay, so Charmeleon's going to go down to that rock slide quite easily there. That's all good. And down he goes. So the Charmeleon faints, and I defeat the Burglar. Oh no, my bag of loot. Thanks for all the money. Yeah, he had quite a bit of money then, so... Okay, uh, another Pokemon you catch in this area is... Wait, Growlithe, we've already done this one. Never mind. Um, a random growl that I bumped into. Never mind. Okay, you can also use the Firestone on them to evolve them. I'm going to sell on City. Anyway, just fast forwarding there through some battles. I had like a million of them. I uh, got this step and you can verse this guy here. He's another uh, Burgra, I think. Um, yeah, he is. Okay, uh, he's got one Pokemon. He's got a Ninetales. So, Ninetales is a pretty cool ass Pokemon as well. Level 38 there, so it's quite high. Um, my Earthquake will obviously do a big chunk of damage to that if not kill it. Um, I'm not really sure about Ninetales' Sprite. I'm not, I don't know. I'm not, I don't know. It looked like it kind of had a bit of grass in its mouth. <laughs> you know. Uh, anyway, <laughs> never mind. So uh, I get 3,420 points for winning that. Uh, dollars for winning that. Anyway, so in here there's a couple of items. If you walk here, um, you get a max revive there, it's an invisible item, um, but obviously, of course, I've got no room for all these items because I haven't dumped off any of them in the thing. Uh, what's... I need to get rid of some of these. Uh, I need that escape rope. What's TM46? I don't need Psywave, that's a completely useless TM that I don't need. I'll toss that, because you don't get much, I don't think you get a lot for it anyway. I'll pick up the max revive, um, pick that up, max revives are quite handy. Uh, little thing to have in case your Pokemon dies that you're training and you want to bring it back. So what's this item here? Uh, obviously I'll need something else to throw away. Let me see. Some of these things I don't need. Uh, TM16, what's this? Payday. I don't really need Payday at all. So I can probably get rid of Payday. 
Um, I'll get rid of that. That's all good. I will. Pro that's the only time time you can get payday as well. But it's not that great a move. It's only good for collecting money. Anyway, so I'll grab that max potion there. That's cool. Dig let's go down the stairs. Now, uh, that bit's a little bit locked there. So what you need to do is you'll need to flick this little uh, switch here. Um, press the yep, press that secret switch, um, and that'll open up the little gate thing up here. So walk up these. Uh, there'll be a little set of steps there. Walk up those steps, and you go into this room now. Um, so you can see there's a gate down the bottom there. Uh, but before you do that, grab this because I'm pretty sure this is a PP up here or a, an important item or a protein or car boss or iron. One of those items. I remember it's one of these. Uh, what's TM3? Don't need sword dance really. Um, I'll just get rid of sword dance because I don't really need it in this walkthrough. I'm, I'm just going through once, and uh, but I, I normally wouldn't throw that item away. So um, just go for. Let's get this iron. So I'll give it to. I'll give it to my ducks. Give him a little bit more bulk. <laughs> Not that he has much already, but whatever. Okay, so we'll go down and press the switch again. Now the secret switch here. You can tell what the switch is about, obviously, because it's a little Pokemon statue kind of thing. Okay, so here you'll have, after I'll burst this trainer, here you'll have two choices of jumping off. Uh, you can both, they both, I think one goes back to the start, or close to the start, or one, one goes to another room, but uh, yeah, so make sure, I'd probably save your game before you jump off. Anyway, so this guy's got a Magnemite, I'm just going to go for Earthquake because that's super effective against uh, Magnemite. And that's going to take, um, that's going to take it out really, really easily, so easy. Okay, so Magnemite goes down, and I get level 40 on my Nidoking, so finally uh, Nidoking's got some good art levels there. Okay, so we've got a Magneton here, uh, this should be really, really easily carried as well. Plus your 7 levels higher as well. Go down. Okay, um, so I'm. If you haven't noticed, I've done a big, big ass uploading spree tonight. But if you could please go through and watch all the episodes, uh, like, not if you if you're busy, that's cool. But like, just whenever you can, that'd be really awesome. Um, as I said, I really want to get this game done, and I've had a lot of fun playing it. So it's kind of why I've spam uploaded it. <laughs> just been playing it a lot. So anyway, so down goes the vault orb there. Um, the effect. 727 experience for Benny, the scientist. Okay, um, hmm, we'll jump off this little one over here, um, but we'll, first we'll see what down is down these stairs, nothing really, uh, probably an invisible item there or something. Um, anyway, so jump, jump off this, let's jump off this big one or the little one, we'll go off the big one. Meow, smash, okay. Um, so this scientist will come up to you, here be another trainer, so that's cool. <laughs> right. Okay, so he's probably gonna have to sim my kind of Pokemon, so he's gonna electro this part. So uh, you'll find all the trainers in here will be scientists and the burglars, so they're the only kind of trainers in here, so no like team rocket or anything like that. Uh, to further slow you down, because this is already annoying enough this part. Um, without all the, you know, with all the random encounters plus everything else, it gets really annoying. Um, I'm going to switch out my, you know, can here, give my uh, Dragon Air a bit of experience, because he's only level 38 at the moment, he needs to get up uh, more. So I'll go for the Ice Beam, which should do okay damage, because he's doing quite a few levels higher. Uh, Sludge is going to do really hard, which is annoying, um, because it's a critical hit, and I get poison there as well, so that's... I got critted and poisoned, so that's not the greatest uh, outcome. <laughs> so, Weezing is going to just hang on by about one or two health and mold this again. Two, and I'll just go for an iron. So, I just don't want Slam to miss and uh, to me just to waste out my experience. Okay, so I defeat the scientist there, that's cool. Yes, ouch, I beat him. Okay, so there's an item here, grab that um, on the way, that's a car boss, you can give that to your Pokemon straight away if you want. Um, that's the way out down there as well, for the left. Okay, so before you actually go in this little part here, you see a gate across there, you'll need to walk um, across here, and down here, and you'll see a switch. Um, that item, the item right here is uh, Blizzard as well, um, so that's a really good item, you can only do that once in the game. 
so make sure you uh, give, make good use of it, um, for God's sake, make good use of it. So TM14 there, um, let's go down now, I'm going to keep that I'll give it to my Blastoise. Yeah, I'm gonna give it to my Blastoise. Just, yeah, that's all good. Because my, uh, my Dragon Air's already got Ice Beam, so I want to kind of get the fun around. Uh, I'll get rid of Water Gun, so he doesn't need Water Gun anymore. And he'll actually be able to hit Dragon-type Pokemon then, so that'll be handy. And Grass-type Pokemon as well. Okay, um, let's talk to this guy here. He's another trainer. Um, I'm pretty sure he's another trainer. Sure. Yep, he is. Um, he's got two Pokemon, so he's got a Growlithe. He'll probably have a Growlithe or not. Probably. Or a Vulpix or something like that. Okay, so I'll just go for Earthquake. Mm. So that's going to be down easily to that. You can find higher ones in the wild. Okay, oh, it's a Ponyta. Okay, fair enough. So out comes the Ponyta. Um, I'm just going to get close. Alright, so I should get pretty, pretty close to getting my 40 bones. Off. Okay, so anyway, I defeat the burglar. Um, they give you a nice sum of uh, money as well. So flip this switch here, and that'll give the um, that'll change the gates around. So we need to actually walk out this part here, then um, walk around here. You can find some quite high level Pokemon in this bit as well, especially in the corner over there. They're really really high. Anyway, so that bit's now open. So the final stretch here is to walk up and then to the left and then down, and you can get the super. We're getting on the ladder bit of uh, buying this key now. Okay, so the, uh, another Magnemite here. Uh, let's marry this guy. Uh, earthquake. So, uh, Earthquake is stuck in here. It's also uh, neutral and super effective damage. Uh, plus, I need a king's really great move as well. So, down goes uh, Magnemite there. Uh, 648 for beating him. And I get level 41. That's good. So, Electro. I'm going to switch out into my Dragonair because I have a Max Revive and even if I do die it doesn't matter because I just want to use my Max Revive on it um, after anyway so that's, it's, it's cool that I die so I kind of want that because I don't really have any, I don't have any like potions or anything to bring him back. Uh, so another Sonic Boom might actually finish me off. So he goes for the light screen there, I'm going to die to poison anyway unless this is a good hit or does a lot of damage. Um, oh, I'm getting very close to him. That's fine. Um, I can bring in basically anything now to finish off the uh, Electro. So I bring in the Snorlax, um, he goes for the light screen again, but you already used light screen, so that's not going to do anything, and I finish it off with an unnecessary, unnecessary critical hit from my uh, Snorlax. Okay, so that scientist um, gets owned. Let's move forward now. Right, um, let's see right here. Revive. So I use my Revive because. I'll probably save my max right there just to, um, to waste. Right, um, you see a little statue here. Now, um, you can press that right um, now. Make sure you do that now. Uh, sorry, sorry. Make sure you don't do that at the moment because uh, this little gate here will close and you will not get the rare candy there. So I suggest you don't. I suggest you walk down, get the rare candy, uh, then go back to the switch and flick it. Uh, flick the switch. Okay, so I'm going to give that rare candy to my Dragonair because he's nowhere close to growing a level. Um, he's nowhere close to growing a level and it just takes ages to get into Dragonite. Okay, um, so now go back to the little uh, switch thing here. Uh, flick that little switch there and th that'll open up the gate at the end. And all you need to do is now, we just need to walk down here. Walk, you walk, you walk, you walk, and also, yeah, you get another, this ball on the table here is the TM-22, which is Solar Beam, which is a kick-ass um, TM, so do not uh, waste that one either. Um, but anyway, this is the secret key right here. I'm just going to toss a random item that I don't need, I don't need any bomb, I found that in Safari Zone, I definitely don't have a key for that. Um, this is the secret key, so I've got the key for the gym, so as you can guess, um, next episode, I'm going to be going into Blaine's gym and having a go at trying to get the seventh badge. And that's all for this episode, and thanks for watching, and peace out, guys.